If you were considering buying an apartment or a house in Jerusalem, you may need more than what is in your piggy bank. In the last few years, Israel, and especially Jerusalem, have experienced a real estate boom. We spoke with the experts to find out why. We're catching up on what happened in New York, in Paris, in London, in Canada. Uh, there you had prices going up and uh, more demand than supply. Uh, the same is beginning to happen here. It's a very active market. Uh, we have more buyers this year in Jerusalem than we've had in quite a few years. And the buyers come from Israel, of course, and from many European countries, as well as from the United States. The answer is clear when explained. Who sell the apartments and who are the main buyers? Most of the sellers are not religious. All of the buyers, I'll say 90-95% of buyers, are religious. So only religious Orthodox Jews are buying in Jerusalem as a general rule. Of those, I would say that a very high percentage, in total I would say 50-60%, are from overseas. The upper end of the market, certainly in Jerusalem, is almost exclusively catered for the Anglo-Saxon stroke French market, which means overseas religious Jews. The result is that most um, Israelis can't afford to buy what they'd like to buy in Jerusalem. This certainly applies to young couples who have terrible problems now buying, unless they buy in the out outlying areas, places like Gilo, Armon and Atsiv, Pisgat Zev, um, Givat Zev, Male Dumim, central Jerusalem has become almost out of their reach. The end of the Intifada and the relative calm is one of the main explanations of the real estate boom and increasing tourism. According to data provided by the Bank of Israel, foreign investors have spent 1.2 billion in real estate in the past year. The brokers talk about record numbers in sales. There are large uh, penthouse apartments for sale and when we sell one of those the price can go up to uh, three or four million dollars. But those are of course exceptions. Also there are some big uh, one-family homes available with the view of the old city which are very valuable. Those also could go to five or six million dollars. Generally the American I'm sorry, the overseas Orthodox Jews aren't buying for economic reasons. They can make a lot more money in real estate abroad, in Europe, in the States, a lot more. They're not buying for necessarily Zionistic reasons. A lot do, but not all. But they're buying because they want a foothold in Israel, a foothold in Jerusalem especially. This especially goes for the religious. The less religious, the less Orthodox, will buy in Tel Aviv and Herzliya and Ranan and Netanya, uh, even uh, Ashdod, Ashkelon, um, and they'll buy some beautiful places on the shore and have their summer apartments, their holiday apartments. The most popular neighborhood for foreign buyers are the capital's most exclusive areas. Talbia, Rahavia, Old Katamon, the German colony. Um, everybody wants to be there. Everybody but everybody. This is why prices are very, 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 very high. Real estate brokers interviewed said they do not represent properties in East Jerusalem, where the population there is predominantly Arab. There, the real estate market shows a different trend. Real estate specialists said that while Western Jerusalem seeks foreign investors in Europe and English-speaking countries, its Jerusalem sets their sights on Jordan. For InfoLive TV, this has been Patricio Abramson from Jerusalem.